Hey everyone, it's Rob from Aquablast Fit, and this is the Aquablast Mini. I just got the sample the other day from the factory. I am so excited to show it to you and share with you what is coming up with the next evolution of Aquablast. I think you're going to be impressed. So first of all, let me just show you the outer case. So I've made a few improvements here. Uh, there's a very large pocket here to carry your stuff in. You can put gloves in here, you can put the uh, whole shoulder harness, you can put um, Aquablast tether system that I'm going to be coming up with later this year as well. So I think you're going to really be impressed with what I've got here. Now, let's take a look at the bag and I'll show you some of the new features. So the bag has U-shaped handles, as you can see. Now the U-shaped handles actually overlap which is really great because they have more additional gripping positions that you can use the bag for. In addition, uh, the zipper area up here, it's very clean. So what I've done is I've put the stitches are underneath the handle here. So there's no obstructions in your way other than the zipper itself. Uh, the zipper is a little bit tight, but that's just the way that is. These little D-rings here serve two purposes. One is to get a grip of this tight zipper so you can open and close the bag very easily. Now what I'm working with is a prototype. It's not an actual production model yet, so it's still under development, but it's pretty darn close. This will be available within about three months. I'm hoping before Christmas. <laughs> now the biggest change to this bag is I'm not using an air chamber anymore. Like a, It used to be a, like a little donut inside of the bag. Instead, what I'm doing is I'm using closed cell foam. And this stuff is pretty durable. This is, a, again, a prototype. This is 25 millimeters. This stuff just floats in the water. And it's got a certain buoyancy uh, factor to them, depending on how much. This bag doesn't require a whole lot of, of uh, buoyancy. So it, a small piece like this is all it's really required. Now, where that goes, is right in the top. So setting up the bag is pretty much the same thing. Now I'm going to explain why I've got an air valve on here in a minute. Because this just allows you to put air inside of the main chamber that's inside of here. So this is a 20 liter unit. This will hold 20 liters of water. There's no air pocket anymore except for these little closed cell phones. Now, uh, you fill it up the same way. You just kind of dunk it underwater get all the air bubbles out of the main chamber and then just drag it a few times to force water inside of the main compartment then lift it a few times and the water will just top itself off and you can see it's coming right out at the zipper level here okay and then zip it closed Okay. Now, one of the things that I'm working on here is this originally started off as a kickboxing bag. And with this foam, there's really not enough buoyancy for the bag. Because if I push it down, it'll come back up to the surface. Slow, but it will come back up. Now, what I've done here is I've added this air valve to just add additional air inside of the main compartment. So if I put an extra breath in here, now when I put it down, there's a lot more buoyancy to it. And it, it provides that buoyancy that you need if you're going to, to use the bag for kickboxing. So for punching and kickboxing, this helps it return back to its main position very quickly. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the bottom. The bottom is the same configuration. You've got these U-shaped handles. And you've got a little quick, uh, you've got a little, a small loop. This is going to be used for the Aquablast suction tether. Again, really behind schedule on that. I'm really hoping to have that thing available by the end of, well, within a couple months. Let's put it that way. I'm hoping by the end of the year, but let's let's pray for the for within a couple months. Okay, um, but that's the basic way you can use the bag, filling it all the way up. Now here's the neat thing about it. Now that I've got this external valve to put additional air in. You can change how much buoyancy you want, or actually how much water you want to add to the bag. 
So let's say I take the bag. I'm going to empty it out. Okay. Let's fill it back up. I'm going to fill it up halfway. Now it's halfway. Probably about half. I can see about here is about where the water level is. I'm going to just get a little bit more in. Okay, I'm about half. So that's technically about 10 liters of water. 10 liters of water will weigh 10 kilograms, which is about 22 pounds. Okay, now 22 pounds ain't a whole, whole lot, but it, it feels good. Now notice how the bag is kind of flaccid. It's, it bends. It's, but if I use this air valve now and add additional amount of air, I can plump up the bag real nicely now uh, for lifting. It's much more rigid now. And there's so many more things you can do with it now that you can have an independent air bladder with inside of this thing. The buoyancy of the bag provides that resistance up and down. So you're pushing down, the buoy buoyancy is trying to force it up. And as you go up, you're getting that resistance going back to the surface. So this is a really cool development. The other thing that you can do with the bag is, okay, if you're uh, older or if you are, uh, you know, you have a limited amount of weight that you can actually lift up, this is only about 20 pounds now. So anybody can adjust the the amount of water, let's say, hey, I don't, this even 20 pounds seems too heavy for me. All I gotta do is just take a little bit of water out. I'm down to about right here now. So that's about a third of it. I might have about, hmm, let's say about eight liters. Okay, it's kind of flabby. So let me put a little bit more air inside. Okay even lighter now. Okay, so I can do all sorts of exercises, sloshing exercises, core exercises, lifting exercises. I mean, this is only about 10 to 15 pounds now. So almost anybody could handle the weight of this bag. And so you can adjust it all the way from almost no weight all the way up to about 40, 45 pounds. That's a huge improvement over what I used to have. What I used to have was the air bladder was inside. It was it was attached to a kind of a PVC air bladder on the inside. And that was it. You only had that little donut of air you could work with. And there's no way to really get additional air inside of the bag. Now there is. And so this provides a whole bunch of new flexibility options for the bag. Look how much buoyancy there is on the bag right now. Uh, it's this much above water. If I try to press that down, that is an incredible amount of resistance. And you can control exactly how much resistance you want. So if you wanted to just work with an empty bag, just working with it, it won't take all the water out. So if it's shut, it's basically it's empty. I'm going to add... Now it's completely almost all air. I mean, this sucker is just light. But I can press this down, and that is a really good workout right there. You're getting a lot of point force back up. Really work that shoulder. So this is a really great low impact exercise. Okay. So I just wanted to share that with you. This is where Aquablast is going. Aquablast has gone through a lot of iterations. I mean, I've, I've made about oh, well over 100 different samples of this thing trying to get it to the way, way it is. So here we are. Uh, this is the latest version. It sets up in 30 seconds. It floats on the surface. And you can do everything on this thing. You can do standing exercises, such as the step-ups, for balance. 
uh, comes right back up to the surface again. Like anybody could do this. So this is it. This is the, this is the future of Aquablast right here. I will eventually be coming back to the Aquablast 25 liter, which will be a little bit heavier. So this one, I haven't actually weighed it on the scale yet, but this probably weighs, <clears throat> it's probably close to 40, 42 pounds maybe. And the, the bigger one will be 25 liters, which is 25 kilograms. And you just do the math on that 2.2. So that thing will weigh you know, 55, over 55 pounds. Okay. 